Zach, you what, you kicked it off with the first course. No, you had the first one. Did I? Yeah, you had too early for flapjacks. Oh yeah, too early for flapjacks, uh, which is based on one of my favorite uh, movies about time, I guess, which is uh, Groundhog Day. And have you seen the movie Groundhog Day? I have. Okay. Yep. It's been a while. Been a while. I feel like anyone that, classic if you, though. If you've seen Groundhog Day, you feel like you've seen it more than once. And if you've seen it more than once, you feel like you've seen it a million times. Um, I read this article. It was like talking about how long they think that Bill Murray was like trapped within the time loop. And it was mm-hmm. 11 years. They, yeah. They talked to Harold Ramis about oh, it. Like, it. There's like a director's cut where they, they he yeah. says it's 11 years worth of days. Because he, cause he was like mastering skills like ice carving and piano and stuff like that. There's, and they like. I saw one where like somebody just added it all up, but you're saying directly from the source. Yeah, yeah. It was we'll go years. with that. Then. Eleven years. That's Eleven long. years is a long time. Yeah, I would be insane. It, is. it seems like like hell. I want to see the cut where he just got up in the morning, got a gun, and just walked around town shooting everybody. I feel like there was at least seventy of those. <laughs> you know, or there would be in my world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real quick question: What would you learn if you had eleven years stuck in a time loop? Let's get them. Man, if I had 11 years stuck in a time loop, I guess I would learn how to slow down. Because maybe you get time to do everything mm-hmm. better the next time. I guess you don't have to rush. I don't know if that made any sense. Maybe yeah. that's the food. Create the perfect song. Yeah, just, um, I think, man, just having a better perspective of time and what, how to use it and what you can do with it. Okay. Do yeah. you do you think you did you come out of the pandemic with any knowledge or like because like I I know for a lot of comics who like we were like man if I like if the world starts spinning again I'm gonna do like it was like two ways one was like man this is this is really nice I'm gonna slow things down and a lot of people were like yeah. man if I get one more shot at it I'm gonna I'm gonna go full tilt yeah I think for me like during the pandemic I got a lot more DIY mm. because I was just at home yeah so studio wasn't really going on. People weren't recording. So I just like use that time to just build my skill set with my own equipment at home and, <laughs> and try to just get a little more self-reliant, I guess, mm. um, to where when things did open back up, um, I was just able to do more on my own, mm. you know? Nice. But, How about you, Dyke? I want to know what you would do. With the, oh man. Uh, probably like learn a bunch of languages for sure. Oh, nice. I think that's something I always. What would be your first one? French, I think. Yeah, yeah. Talk to Yusuf. French and Spanish. My, my grandma was from France, mm. and I took two years of it in high school, but it, not, not stuck. Yeah, it never does. And like you learn it to memorize it, and then, yeah. yeah, yeah. I would probably be probably French and Spanish for sure, and then maybe like one of the harder languages. I think it would be cool to like know like five different languages. Oh, for sure. But I, I also don't have the wherewithal to sit down and learn five yeah, different du- languages. Duolingo, that's a great app. Yeah. Shout out to Yusuf, he knows six. Oh, wow. Crazy. Zach, what would you do? I would pick one person, learn everything about them, and spend all my time trolling them. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'd be their little, like, like demon or god or deity or whatever. They'd wonder what they did to, like, bring my, you know, judgment on them. <laughs> and it would just be some, you know, some schmo. Nice. Nice. I learned how to read. <laughs> you learned how to read during the pandemic? No. Just I was read in, in general? Oh, I got time loop. Yeah. I'd like to read. Yeah. No, Um. Uh, this is going to sound a little dark, hopefully I'd, uh, not too dark. I'd find my enemies and just figure out how to torture them. Uh, kind of same lines as yours. Do you think You're there's a proximity? You? Like, do you think you could get outside of the city? Like, oh, they couldn't even leave because there was like the roads were closed, weren't they? But yeah. You, but do you think you could walk away? Like, do you think there was another physical, like, time barrier? No. That they were stuck in? No, I think it was just the weather. Mm. I think it was also a plot device to keep them... Keep them there. In the, yeah. Because mm. otherwise... Because there's been other, like, time loop movies where they do just, like, drive as far as they can, and then they just wake up back in the mm. same place. Uh, but I'm, I want to change mine from torture to <laughs> like, <laughs> learn how to cook <laughs> better. <laughs> More Smite my enemies, <laughs> learn how to bake a cake. <laughs> the usual. Oh, sorry, real quick. Like I, people ask me, like, what is your heaven like? And I, I always answer like the darkest way. Like, I want to just be able to torture my bully in heaven. That's that's my heaven. <laughs> but never mind. Anyways, <laughs> uh, course. so with it, well, within that theme uh, yeah. of of Groundhog Day, uh, we I took it from the diner scene um, where. 
uh, he's just kind of realizing that he can't, he has no consequences and he's just ordering everything on the menu and eating it. And, uh, Annie McDowell, is that who that is? Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's just sitting there just like disgusted by him. And he's just like, I just realized, like, I was like looking, I was like pausing the movie to see what all was on there. And he's like, yeah, he's got like pancakes. He's got bake. He has a full like bacon, egg, sausage thing. But then he's got all these different kinds of donuts, full pot of coffee. He's smoking a cigarette inside the diner. And I was just like, man, I want to put as much of this stuff on one plate. Wait, back yeah. then they were allowed to smoke in diners, weren't they? Yeah, but he's just like, he's got a mouthful of food and he's like and drinking he's coffee out of the pot and smoking a cigarette. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like he's just going full glutton with it. Um, so I want to incorporate as much of that into it, and uh, plus I just like putting cookie butter and bacon on things. So good, so good. That cookie butter was. Whew. It feels. Just, it feels decadent. It just feels like I shouldn't be eating all this. Yeah. Sometimes I get mad when I have their food because like I've never tasted anything this good, and I've been missing out this long. Yeah, it was amazing. I'm eating brunch with my people though. Homie, that just cooked up a feast, and we about to eat.